Hi, good morning and welcome to today's devotional. Today's title is Spiritually Dependent and our verse is found in, in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 and they read, I long to see you again for I remember your tears as we parted and I will be filled with joy when we are together again. I remember your genuine faith for you share the faith that first filled your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice and I know that same faith continues strong in you. Now in our verses today, we see that Paul and Timothy were close. Paul mentored that young man. They spent a lot of time together. In verse four, he recalls um, how Timothy cried when they separated. And I imagine young Timothy going from um, his home with his mom and his grandma to traveling with Paul all over the place, sharing the gospel and learning and growing in his faith alongside Paul. Paul acknowledges uh, Timothy's strong faith and credits his mom and grandma for teaching him. His faith was strong like, just like theirs. Now our faith is learned and nurtured by pastors, by family and friends and teachers, but our walk with the Lord is just that, our walk with the Lord. And of course, we can always go back for advice, you know, for prayer, for them to encourage us, to stand, you know, in agreement with us. We can, we can do that, but their faith won't save us. We have to make that decision, or we have made that decision to accept the Lord in our heart and begin that journey of spending um, that time ourselves and learning more about Him and sharing Him with others. You know, and this also happens when uh, the Lord wants to teach us something and, and we don't quite learn and we'll have to go through that trial or tribulation again and again and again until we have that outcome the Lord wants for us, which is spiritual growth. Now we can easily allow others to become the compass for our lives spiritually. The Lord doesn't want us spiritually dependent on other people though. People are there to help us, but our journey with Jesus is our journey. We have to nurture that faith to live in us as well. Our spiritual dependency should only be on the Lord. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you, um, Lord. I thank you for your love. I thank you for, for all that you do, Lord God, and things that we're not even aware that you do for us, Lord God. I, ju I just thank you just for, for all that you are, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that, that you've given us people around us to help us, but you want that relationship with us personally. You want us to come to you first, you want us to put you first, Lord, before anything else. And we would be very blessed to do that, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for, for those um, who are in need. I pray for those who are, are dependent on other people, Lord. I pray for those who just need more of you, Lord God. I pray that they find themselves worthy because you do, that you want that relationship with us. I pray that, that they just go out and reach to you directly. I've, I've learned from a, a young age not to go through people, you know, go through a second person, a person, a, a mediator to, to, to uh, get things that I, I, I want to have or, or ask for things, or, but to go directly to the source. And I pray, Lord God, that they go, that we all go directly to you. You want that relationship with us, Lord, and you love us just so much and more than anybody ever can and better than anybody ever can, Lord God. And, and you're available 24 seven and just all the good things, Lord. I, I just pray that we seek a closer relationship with you because we wanna spend forever with you, Lord God. You sent Jesus for that very reason so that we could. And I pray that we seek you more and more. I pray for those who are watching and the families that they represent, Lord. I pray that you meet whatever need that they may have, Lord. I pray that, that um, you keep us safe, Lord. And I pray that we have an awesome week in you, that we can share something that, that you did, Lord, with someone else. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, thank you for watching today's devotional. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and tomorrow we have our Bible study via Zoom that happens at 7 p.m., and our meeting ID and passcode can be found on our social media. Tomorrow, Wednesday, is also when we uh, restream the service that happened on Sunday. So if you want to watch it again or you missed it, it'll be up tomorrow. 
keep an eye out for that. God bless.